Alright, so for this video I'm going to be doing some sugar rockets, um, well not rockets, uh, um, sugar rocket testing. And the normal mixture is going to be 65 potassium nitrate and 35 sugar. Um, but I don't want to make 100 grams because I'm not going to be using all that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do a half, I guess 50 grams. So 65 divided by 2 is going to be 32.5. So we're going to measure out 32.5 grams of potassium nitrate. Um, if you're interested in doing that, the sorbet all they sell on Amazon, you can buy that. And then uh, you'll be able to kind of mix that up into a, a, a pot or something to keep. And then you mix in the sugar and it, it makes a very nice, um, I want to say it looks like, like icing. And that is a really good sugar substitute than regular sugar. Uh, but here I'm going to be using some powdered sugar. Uh, let me just take this and grind it up real quick in a coffee grinder and I'll be right back. All right, so ground it up and I'm going to go ahead and tear the scale back out, put it to zero. And then we're going to see if it still measures out to the 32.5 or at least close to it. You can see the, um, the smoke kind of coming off of the potassium nitrate and we're at 32.2 very close to 32.5 so it'll still be okay 17.5 sugar and that should bring us up right to about 50 grams and sugar is somewhat less dense than the potassium nitrate, so we're going to see if I can get it to mix up nicely. And let's see what happens here. Okay, 42. 43. I'm going to get another uh, container to hold this because I was going to do that initially, but then I just put it on here and now I'm starting to run out of room so let's see throw that away I'm not going to put that back in my bag Forty nine point six. Forty nine. there we go 50 all right so with that being done there I'm going to take this into a container and then mix it up well, that's actually flash or not flash that's something else okay i'm gonna scoop it into this guy here i'm gonna attempt to do that without making a mess but i can already see this being a little crazy and then all there is to do now is mix it this is the easiest uh, rocket recipe you can get um, it's just two ingredients and they perform very good uh, I'm sure everybody's seen videos on YouTube of uh, sugar rockets. Now, if you don't have a ball mill and you can't make black powder, then this is uh, something you might want to get into. Uh, the sugar rockets, they light pretty easily as well with the fuse, so it's not a very hard composition to light. Make sure and grind, grind it down to very nice powder. There we go. So... This isn't a very shock sensitive mixture, so don't worry about it blowing up in your hand because it won't. That is why it's a lot safer to use this than black powder. Even then, black powder is not shock sensitive. But, um, all right, let's go on to the burn test. Okay, so now we are at my test facility, aka my backyard. I'll mix it up pretty good. Now, there's different ways. Like I said, you can do the uh, candy method. I may end up doing that later to do more testing on the, the rocket fuel, but this should be sufficient for now so to make it fair we're going to do a level teaspoon or that's actually a quarter teaspoon and from you can what you can see on this is very it compacts nicely especially when it's grandly uh, finely grounded like that and here we go see it burns so pretty it burns pretty slow and it leaves a little bit of residue but it's not too bad um, it does leave some smoke. Like I said, this is a, you can make this into a smoke composition. Um, next is going to be my granulated black powder. I made this a while back. 
Um, now I'll try to use them, some granules that are not clumped like that to give it a fair shot because usually whenever there's a little bit of air pockets in between it burns a little differently. Now smaller granules burn faster than larger granules so this one may not burn as fast. Well, I was mistaken, that thing burned extremely fast and I didn't have enough time to get my hand out of there. I didn't burn it but let's just do another test because I didn't realize my black powder was that fast. Um, this is probably because it's extremely dry now and uh, I've gave it maybe a couple weeks to dry in my hot garage and now it is um, very, really fast. So that's as you can see the black powder burns way faster than the sugar rocket mix and that's why I'm saying the sugar rocket may not have enough power as black powder but that's not to say that it's a weak rocket. What it is is that the amount of mixture compared to black powder is different. The densities are different, the way they compact is differently, and the chemical makeup's pretty much different because you have charcoal and sulfur for your black powder. Um, the main ingredient on both of them is potassium nitrate, but even then that's just the oxidizer. The fuel is the sugar and on this one is the charcoal for fuel. When it burns, it starts to caramelize. It burns very slowly, so I think what it's doing with the fuel here is it's burning very slowly and the oxidizer is trying to give it as much oxygen as it can. And the sugar is just burning it up because it's a fuel and that's why it leaves that little residue behind because if you think about it that's like little tiny pieces of caramel so that's what it's doing it's leaving that behind um so anyways uh stay tuned for my rocket video when i get a chance right now it's just super hot outside so i'm gonna be making that when it gets a little darker but for now i just wanted to show you the burn rates on the two and that's pretty much it <laughs> 